I'm going to show you how to parallel fuse with a miniature clothesline. I found these in Walmart. Um, I was looking for the package that I got them in to show you, but uh, I mean, all they are just a mini clothesline pin or whatever, whatever you call them things. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. So um, enough of the chat. Let's get down to business and show you how it's done. I use two baggies and I use two spools and I let them spin in the baggies on the floor. Let's show you how I prep it onto it. So I have it so that each spool is towards one of the corners of the baggies. If you use a baggie that's just a little bit too bigger than the spool itself, just put them both on the same side. And you want the wire coming out of the edge of this way, coming out and leave this open. I'll snap maybe that much. And so my drill is going to be actually, my drill is on this side. My swivels are on this side. So ultimately the fuse is going to be coming across this way and stop. So I'll put the baggies with these corners where it's feeding the wires out at. I'll put them corners facing the drill, but I place them on this end of it. So this way when you're fusing down towards the end, you're not trying to drag the baggies along. They're feeding from the far end away from your drill and the corner that the wire is feeding out of is facing the drill. This will help the baggies stay on the floor and the spool spins inside of them and they cooperate better. So some of you guys that are fighting with the baggie method, this can probably help. Next I take the two lead ins and I tie a knot, just an overhand knot, I can maybe do it twice. Then I place these bags down on the floor the way I specified. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the cores here and I'll get back up to the core here and uh, show you how I put the pin on. When I prep these, <clears throat> I put, I tie them up with 40 gauge. I put two on there. I'll give them a nice little pinch. Nothing, nothing too much. And um, then I'll take the other one. I slide it down. It's not necessary, uh, but when you get started doing it, I would, I would suggest doing that. You can even put a dab of hot glue up here. Uh, I may go ahead and do that. Just put a little bit, and then I'll hit it again with the lighter and sink it down in between because this is six ply. There's six, six point three ribbon stacked nichrome 80 and this is what i'm going to be putting the pin on showing you how to do it so let's, let's finally get up to it and show you i just i wanted to show so you now that i have the wires taped up i put a little bit of glue on the end i take this slider i the second slider and i pull it all the way down this holds everything together that's why you want to give it a soft pinch with the nylons but um then i lightly glue the end of it you got to make sure that this is centered you can't have this core bouncing around with a clothesline pin on there so I'm just going to go ahead and slide this all the way back down to the other end. Um, if you're insecure about it, you can put it to like the middle or something. You know, I may as well just do that just so it don't screw up on me in the video here um, to be extra safe. Now you're going to have to start this by hand and then you're going to apply the pin. So. I'm just holding it with my fingers down below because I got the baggies down on the floor. But really hard to do with the video going. So now I'm gonna come up behind it from the drill side because you don't want to come from the swivel side. It's gonna have you pulling, pushing your wires back, and they're gonna buckle up on each other. You don't want that to happen. So, I'm just going to pinch onto the wire right here. You see that beveled end in the front of that nose? It's so hard to do with the video. So, I'm holding tension on there and I'm pulling up to it. Now it's up on there. See? Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and slowly start running it. I'm going to take a real good look at it, make sure we're started out right. Once we're started up and good. I'm holding on to this wire down below. Let me show you. You see my hand down here? I'm hanging on to the wire. So let's get it going. You can go a lot faster, I'm just going slower to make sure everything's coming out right. And uh, looks like it's really good. I'm going to go ahead and just let go. That's because the spools are in the baggie. I don't need to hold tension. 
um, the clip is holding it in place up there, so. Give you a better look there. Um, so just a quick reminder that this isn't always perfect. You have to watch it from the beginning because once it's pegged on, that's going to maintain whatever you pegged on to. If you gapped it a little bit, it's going to hang on to that gap and it's going to gap it all the way through. That's why you can, you know, you can eyeball a gap and stagger it if you wanted and put a clamp on or put a pin on or anything of that nature. Um, and it maintains it and that's how they work. So you want to make sure that it's started right. And if it's not, you know, you start over, pull the little bit off. You know, I've got about an inch right here that we're looking at. Um, <coughs> maybe a little bit more than an inch, but you know. If it's not exactly perfect, I'll pull it back off and I'll come back at it and I'll get it started again. Most of the time I get it with the first try. Um, it takes a little practice learning how to do that, but, uh, you know, hopefully this helps somebody. I'm going to go ahead and spin this out just to give you guys a view of it spinning out in full speed and wrap this up. Thanks for watching.